good beautiful people welcome back to my channel i am Brittany lachelle and here on my channel i like to show all of my beautiful babes at home how to slay finesse and style their hair easily affordably from the comforts of their home using all of the bomb tips and tricks that i have learned over the course of years of doing hair so today's video is going to be me comparing a high quality curling iron to a low quality curling iron so make sure you stay tuned to see the comparison Whoever made this design knew exactly what they were doing. They made this specifically for the aesthetically pleasing girls out there and I'm here for it. This is very nice. Very, very, very nice. I feel like a kid in a candy store, not gonna hold you. So let's plug her up. Have this on here, which I don't ever use unless I'm traveling with my tools, but this one, not be a traveling tool at least i don't think it will be we'll see it might be we gonna see now i will say i do wish that this would have came with like some type of carrying case to protect it considering how much it cost and that it's white okay so you pretty much turn it on uh i don't know if that's too washed out for y'all let me see so you turn it on by this little thing here. And right now it's warming up. I don't know if y'all can see that light lighting up. It was getting hot quick too. Set it down so it's like that on the surface and it's not like sitting directly on your countertop. I love that. Cause I'm kind of on a time crunch. So you really want some layers in this some light layers so I'm gonna do that really quickly I actually do have a video up showing you guys how I do some easy layers I have like two videos up already Once it gets hot, it gets the all the lights light up. How does this thing get? Let's take a look. Oh, the first light is 260, the second light is 300, the third light 350, fourth light is 390, and the last is 410. Now, it don't get that high, it get up to 410 degrees. For a curling iron that is, um, as pricey as it is, I'm shocked. Let's go ahead and do the first pass. I'm ex- oh. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and do the first pass with our new T3. And I'm doing my curls away from my face because that's what I like. How I like my curls, you can do them however you want. Okay. Oh yeah, this thing is hot. It only gets to 410, but this heat is a different type of heat is producing off of this barrel. I will say that for sure. Um, for sure, for sure. And it says single pass, so we shall see. Our curl. Very cute. I'm not trying to go for a real curly, curly, curly look. I'm really just doing this more so to have some life in my hair. When I get straight hair, after wearing it straight, I get bored and be wanting, 
I be needing some baba boom to it. So that's what I'm doing. All right. So there's that curl. And I'm just taking like little, I'm taking small sections, combing it out. Y'all, I love this brush for my hair extensions and wigs. And just taking it, curling away. Woo! Just touched the barrel by accident. Yeah, that's hot, sis. So this part up here does not get at that height, which I appreciate. I hate curling iron, curling irons, where this part up here gets too hot and you can't even really have a lot of control over the barrel. I hate that. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Even my flat irons, I don't like when they're like that. Oh yeah, this is nice. Definitely a single pass um, curling iron. how the curls look with this curling iron. We're gonna go in with our rev line and I'm gonna do this side with the rev line and we gonna see which one really, really hits. Now this one I got from the Dollar Tree and I mean Dollar Tree, chat online. I got this from Family Dollar. It's a Conair Instant Heat. Old Faithful. This the old lady. I'm just kidding. Um, this isn't my old faithful, but um, this Curling iron was probably, it was less than, less than $25. I'm gonna be seeing if it can match up with the T3. I'm sure, now listen, listen, this is very nice, but we gonna see. And, oh yeah, this one has just the typical buttons on it, you know, on off, and then it has turbo if you wanna speed up getting it warmed. And then it has the dials here at the bottom. We're not focusing. There we go. We had the dials here at the bottom, you know. And right now I have it on 25, the highest one. I don't have the specs to the Conair, but like I said, we're gonna see if we can get the job done. I know it can curl and it can get the job done because I've used it before, but I wanna see how the curls are um, or will turn out. Instant heat iron is hot, ready to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started on curling this style. the rip I can already tell you that I definitely prefer the T3 already because for one the T3 is hotter than this for one so it's achieving the curl that I need very quickly um, and it's literally when it says single pass it is giving me a nice flawless smooth curl with each pass with, with a single pass now um, I would say that if you are a hairstylist or you're somebody who um, if you're a hairstylist and you want to 
if you're a hairstylist or you're somebody who does your own hair and you're trying to find ways to speed up the process of you doing your hair, then I would highly suggest you get a T3 because it, it just allows you to be able to work faster because of how evenly distributed the heat is coming for with the ceramic plates and you're not dealing with what I'm dealing with. Like one thing that I don't like about curling iron sometimes is that the hair gets caught in, this is in a way, this stays in a way. The hair sometimes get caught in the barrel. It gets caught in these things, these screws here. This gets hot to where I can't even touch it. Whereas this one, ooh, dang, this one's hot too. The top of this gets hot too. Can we get a curling iron where you can touch up there? But um, anyway, outside of here is it, but right here, if I go on here, it's a little hot. But anyway, not automatic. I'm gonna give, so far, I'm giving, so far I'm giving it to the T3, but like I said, we gonna see.